In 2018, the UK government promised to bring in a full legislative ban on conversion therapy. In 2021, they further committed to the ban during the Queen's speech. Yet today, this appalling practice is still legal. It is a situation that puts LGBTQ plus people at risk of harm and shames our nation. I found conversion therapy when I was about 17 years old on a website offering Jewish alternatives to homosexuality. I joined a church-based youth group. At no point did anybody say to me, this is conversion therapy. The point of this is to change who you are as a human being. My first year of university, um, I threw myself into religious life. The rabbi said to me that everyone has a test in life and my test is being gay. Conversion therapy belongs in the past, but remains in our present. It can't be a part of our future. The practice can take many forms. They all have one thing in common. They seek to erase, repress, or change somebody's sexual orientation and or gender identity. To fix them. I was told that I would never naturally be gay. It was a case of fixing something that had broken within me. And they promised me the world. They promised me that they could change my sexuality. So I went down this journey of abuse. The psychology behind the therapy was very damaging because, you know, he would put down other people who had failed in therapy. The government's own research shows that 7% of all LGBTQ plus people have been offered or undergone conversion therapy. For ace people, that figure rises to 10%. For trans people, it's 13%. They put hands on me and the pressure of their hands on me was such an overwhelming experience. He then sent me to have a past life regression and they kept pressurizing me to tell them this story of my past life. I didn't realize that what was gonna happen next was a kind of slow decaying of my sense of who I was. Every sexual thought, every action, I couldn't stop analyzing every single detail of it. Proponents of conversion therapy claim that you can cure someone's sexual orientation or gender identity. They tell LGBTQ plus people that they can stop being who they are if they want to enough. As a result of being told what my feelings were um, and how to interpret them, it made me unable to assess my own thoughts and feelings for myself. I felt asexual, I felt depressed and alone. My whole mental state was occupied with trying to make sure that no one perceived me as gay. My mental health was terrible. At one point, I did try to kill myself. Even now as an adult, my body is covered in scars. It was all to do with the amount of guilt that I felt. Conversion therapy has lifelong impacts on those who survive. Many don't. LGBTQ plus people do not need to be cured. It was only when I met a rabbi in America who said to me, the Bible says nothing about a woman and a woman, so just get on with your life. From then on I did. What pulled me out of conversion therapy was seeing other people like me going through life as religious gay people, but living as they really were. And something deep within me said, that's you and that could be you.